Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Conquest. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be delving in to finishing off Hideyoshi's army. Now, he put up a good fight when it came to Ginchio. They were always back and forth, but I'm not Ginchio. I'm a lot stronger. So I'm going to bring my forces together. We don't need the rough white guy anymore. He did a great job while he was here, but he won't be necessary. All right. Looking at my forces, where can I put this guy? Hmm. Have any room? Oh my gosh. I'm running out of space. I gotta put him in Violite. I gotta delegate him. Alright, this is your place now. I want you to train like a madman. Even though you probably don't even need any more training. You're maxed out. Hmm. He probably will try to con- I'm only gonna be able to take down one of these areas. He probably will try to conquer Ignis once I'm done. I guess that's fine. Let's just go ahead and capture this area of Aurora. I don't want to fight Hideyoshi himself. There's no point. That man should be left for the end. All of our army strengths are doing quite well. I'm really enjoying this story mode so far. Yoshi Hero story mode has been one of my favorites so far. That's not to say I don't enjoy the Junior Warlord story modes, but seeing the actual warlords, like the big bads, that's the best. They're not bad people, but you know how it is. Alright, got a bunch of trainers over there too. We got a full army here. Hideyoshi always had a full army of 12, making him a little bit more threatening. However, I can kill their healer on the first turn. That is really bad positioning of the game to allow me to kill their healer on the first freaking turn. And just like that, they have no healer. She never even got a turn, I feel like that's unfair. Alright, now, Yoshimoto has evolved uh, his, what is it called, his Pinaco into a Fortress. Now, Fortress does not have Bug Bite, he has Gyro Ball, which is a one-star attack, but it's based on speed, which means it's a terrible attack, and I'm not even joking, because if you have High Link, obviously you're going to be faster than some opponents, so it's just kind of sad that that's how it works out in this game, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, he's, he's pretty terrible, Bug Bite was a better move than Gyro Ball. The only time it comes in handy is when you're fighting someone that's around your level, and not only are they around your level, but they're a super fast Pokemon. Like, if Nene had a Crobat, it would be the one time you'd get to see it do damage. Other than that, expect it to do, like, one damage. Everything comes from Jagged Edge. Alright, Hanbei, you are Hideyoshi's right-hand man. Let's see what you can do. You can miss. That's impressive. You even missed the log somehow. And Modinari, you used to own the Grass-type area before they took you over. Ooh, let's go ahead and see how much a Zubat can do to us. Four damage. Oh, I'm part bug, so that flying move did do a little more than expected. I was expecting only one damage, but whatever. A guaranteed hit, so that means this will do one. Three damage. Oh, so these guys aren't the weakest in the world. They're not good, but they're not the weakest, and I can appreciate that. Alright, so a Zubat is supposed to be fast, right? Look at this, one damage. The, this, the game, the programming for this character was just the worst. But it's okay. I don't mind it. I've had, I've seen worse programming. So what we're going to do is I need to level... I mean, I need to set this up where I kill off Hanbei. Uh, but he's actually a pretty strong opponent. They both are. Okay. I can get rid of Zubat. But I can do that many ways. I don't have to do it this way. Alright, there we go. And then you, my friend. Can you kill the Zubat off? Oh, the Zubat's actually pretty tanky. I'm going to have to use my Trickster ability and hope for a crit. And even then it might not work. But instead of that, I'm going to go ahead and do this first. Just uh, blast all this area. 40 damage is pretty good. Don't worry, we don't need you to do anything, Yoshimoto. You're not really a fighter. I, I can accept that. And no, we did not. Damn, that's unlucky. Well, enjoy this one damage, Zubat. <laughs> yeah, they really did not program Gyro Ball correctly. Or they did it too correctly. They didn't add anything to it. But it is a one-star attack, so we'll just live with it. Just enjoy the fact that you're like a super tank. Oh, you missed my other guy. Interesting, you're willing to sacrifice Zubat in order to do this. You still missed Alakazam, but yeah, Fortress isn't fast. You're, you're bound to hit him. 
What about this Servine? Who does he want to hit? Nope, still Alkazam. Okay, that one can hit me. 21 damage. That's actually pretty... Ad that's, that's pretty good. I'm not even upset. That was just a decent amount of damage. All right. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if he used a super effective move on Onyx? I guarantee you he'll still say, like, one damage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead... Could you possibly kill this Panpour? Just asking. Not even close. Okay. How would you do against Flaffy? Not even close. Okay. Hmm. His opponents are stronger than expected. How would you do against Servine since Servine's fast? Okay. Since Servine is fast, we do more than one damage. That's worth it immediately. The fact that it's not one damage is nice. The Flaffy is one we want to deal with. He actually hits decently hard. Hmm. But I put Fortress in a bad spot. I did put Fortress in a bad spot. Okay. Well, I could kill the Panpour. <laughs> Screw that thing. We'll get we'll deal with these guys right now, but together. And then Zoroark, how much would you do to him? 51, nice. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Screw the Onyx, it's no threat. This Flaffy's a threat. Oh, I got a crit, nice. And Zoroark is gonna finish off the Flaffy. So Hanbei. Hideyoshi's second in command is gone. He's gonna have to go back to his leader. Now, Servine, you actually could do some decent damage. Leaf Blade does have a high crit chance, so. No, never mind, that was sad. And Onyx, what could you possibly do? You can increase your defense. I don't think that's gonna matter when you get Night Dazed or freaking Psychic. We'll see you though. So, you go first, Fortress. Since you never get to do damage, this is like your only chance. There we go. Alakazam, we're gonna need your damage no matter what, because this guy's a tank. There we go. How can you do- how much do you do against him? 45? Perfect. We can kill this guy off. There we go. And now, Scraggy, I'm gonna leave you to get hit by Jagged Edge, but if you get a crit, I'm sure you can kill this Onyx. That's not the high- oh, 31 Link, that's not bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I was wrong. Its defense stats pretty go. Oh, my god, I almost killed it. That crit almost killed it. It left with one HP. Hey, even... Oh, my gosh. Even my guy can kill that. Everyone move out of the way. We're never going to see this happen again. One, two, three. Perfect. Everyone just move out of the way. It's time for Fortress to get a kill. And this is probably the only time in this entire Let's Play you're ever going to see Fortress get a kill. So enjoy it. Oh, 23 damage is not bad, actually. Guess the super effective does help. And with a crit, we did 60. There we go. Yoshimoto, you did it! You killed something! I didn't think you could do it, old man. There we go. 52%, 54%, 41%, 50%. Everyone's getting stronger. And now Hideyoshi is left with only one territory. We've almost dominated the bottom side of the map, everybody. And then all that's left is Masamune and Nobun Nobunaga. But we're done, so we're going to see if uh, maybe Hideyoshi has one last fight in him. Does he go after the smart play Ignis, or does he go after the dumb play Pugilus? It's only done because I'll kill him if he goes after Pugilus, like harder than usual. I never noticed Yoshi. Oh, that's a problem. The enemies have taken notice of me. I have not been defending my other areas properly. That is a problem. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, he I, I knew he'd go after Pugilus. Even though it even though Ignis is his original territory and I left it unguarded, he goes after Pugilus. And Oh, that Gyarados has 400 stat. That's really good. But Luxray could kill it. Star Raptor could kill that. It's the electric type I have to worry about. I don't think I can kill the electric type. Okay. We're going to retreat. Hideyoshi shall have his day. He wins this one battle. But he should have attacked Ignis. I was going to... It's going to be a little more lenient by that. Okay. Thank God they're still fighting each other. I thought they would turn on me. They turn on me. This whole freaking... This whole freaking series gets turned on. Alright. Okay. I need to split up my armies into two forces. 
That way I can defend these two territories. Now, they're leaving alone Yaksha for now, but that might change later on. I need to take Kragsburn, I need to take Avia, but I won't be able to do that this month. This month we gotta take these two. So the two... Oh my god, he made it to Infernape! And Ampharos, they got a huge buff! Oh, wow, 455 is stronger than my best guy. Well, no, my best guy is 482. This is going to be a difficult fight. And if we're going to have a difficult fight, we should have it in uh, Pugilist, our fighting type area. So I need to create an army of weaker soldiers. People I think will not be useful against Hideyoshi. So you will be useful against Hideyoshi. You go to Ignis. People I think will be useful against Hideyoshi go to Ignis. Everyone else... Wait, how'd Kanbei do? Where's Kanbei? Kanbei's still a Dusk Skull. Thank God. If he had made it to Dusk Lots, we'd actually be in trouble. Dusk Lots is a, ve a very difficult opponent to deal with. Honestly, Duwak Guy, you're perfect for the first for the first team. Because the first team needs to take down this area. Frostlass, your healing might come in handy when we take on Hideyoshi. But your typing will probably screw us. So we're going to go with Scraggy. Scraggy will be part of the main team. Main team will consist of these four. No, Luxray does not work in this team. Luxray works better in this team. All right, looking at it, these guys are extremely weak. I think I'm doing this correctly, yeah. Yeah, this seems about right. Now to separate these guys. Frostlass, you're going to be part of team B with uh, these guys. And you three are going to be part of Team A. Okay. And these are our teams. Five and six. Our teams are pretty powerful strength-wise, so we should be able to do with this. This fight's the easy fight. This fight's a free win. After this fight, when we have to take on Hideyoshi's new evolved form, we're going to die. Because I don't know if you guys have ever fought a freaking um, Infernape before, but they're insane in this game. Infernape and Chandelier, or Chandelure are insane. Luckily, people don't have their perfect links in this story mode, so we're not fighting Raichu and we're not fighting Chandelure. We're fighting Duskull and Ampharos. And Duskull takes forever to evolve, like literally forever. But when it gets to Dusklops, it becomes like a killing machine. It, it can't die, and uh, it just takes people to the freaking grave. Which I think is more Dusk Noir story, where it can open a gate to hell, but whatever. Sounds like him and Giratina would be bros. Alright, go ahead and get over there, Duwad. Having the guy who used to own this territory on my arm uh, in my army sounds really nice. It's just a nice thing to have. Alright, let's see how far she can go. Yeah, just go here. And close the water. I know the water doesn't affect Duwad, but it does affect everyone else. Yep, and you go here. Alright. Everyone seems to be fine now. That guy made it to 64%. Oh, they all got buffed when... Remember how they said that all the enemies got strengthened? They weren't joking. He made it to 66. The fact that he's not a Dusclops is a crime. They're way stronger than me now. All the enemies are way stronger than me now. Luckily, I have a numbers advantage, which normally I don't have to rely on, but... Today's the day. <laughs> if any time I had to rely on a numbers advantage, it is today. Alright, Luxray get into a good position. Frostlass get into a good position. I'm getting everyone into a line, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use a strategy with Bustle and Rally. So this line, it seems like a dangerous move, but as long as they can't reach the button, we're fine. Ho oh, ho a little close there. Alright, let's see how much he can do to Zoroark. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, this fight's going to be extremely intense. And honestly, a Duskull with over 100 HP is super hard to kill, and they have a healer. So, I'm going to have to struggle here. First, we're going to bustle so we have many options. Then, we're going to rally up to power up our, our, our team. Then, I'm going to quick strike because I need to flinch their healer. I need to flinch their healer. Or, I could just go straight for the Duskull and let's see how much I can do. I can't even kill the Duskull with a super effective attack. This is scary. This is freaking scary. But, if I get the flinch, it won't matter. Okay, good. The Duskull is out of the fight. Unless... No, I have to kill it now. I have to kill it now. If I don't kill it now, uh, Jigglypuff will heal it. Oh my god, I can't kill it with you. How much does Lux Ray do? Low accuracy. I can't believe it's low accuracy when your opponent's that slow, but I guess it is. 
All right, we're gonna have to use some uh, some icy wind here to hit both of them. Just to, or maybe focus you. Now hit both of them just to make sure that um, I can actually kill them. Beautiful. We got a crit on the correct one, and we lowered their range, which means almost nothing. Luxray, this is pretty important. I need to see if you can kill that Duskull. Because if you can't, we're in trouble. We're going to have to face Jigglypuff's wrath of healing it. Ew, Jesus. Alright, no matter what I do, my opponent is most likely going to heal. I, even if I try to go for this, it won't, be, it won't matter. Unless I get a crit, it won't matter. Let's go. Ah, oh, 2 HP, all because Luxray missed. That's depressing. That's super depressing. Alright, so watch as Jigglypuff heals them back to full health almost. Goodbye, Duwat. Yeah. It was a calculated risk. There was a chance you crit, you kill Duskull, Jigglypuff doesn't get to heal. Doesn't heal Servine. And then I go for Jigglypuff. Because Jigglypuff has one big weakness. I brought Fortress. Fortress is the perfect Jigglypuff killer. Even if he fell asleep for a million turns, he could kill Jigglypuff. Alright. Luxray, 104 damage, do it. 111 damage, because she can't heal anymore, so that's perfect. 1 damage, don't like that. 16 possible damage, I like that more than the other one. There we go. Frostlass, why don't you line up here and you just do 32 if possible. I know your crit was amazing, and it still did damage technically, because the crit went over 50, but still. And you make sure that Duskull, uh, that Duskull never fights us again. Yeah, this is going to be a real one, guys. The fact that everyone made it to 60% Link is insane. We're not even close to that. Lullaby hit who? Damn it! Oh, I was going to say if it hits Fortress, that's 100% okay, but it did not. And she's trying to hit Fortress because that's a smart play. Hey, that was a really good play by my opponent. Really smart play. It depends on where it bounces me. Oh, thank God. Maybe the water will wake... Oh, Fortress is trapped. Maybe the water will wake me up. The water didn't even wake me up. Okay. One, two, three, four. The strength of a Luxray is it can still move four spaces no matter what. It's amazing! Okay, almost killed him. I got the paralysis. I'm not scared of you. I never really was. But Fortress is just like, Guys, help! Please! Yep, Zoroark, how much can you do? 40, but you can't even guarantee a hit on this thing. Damn, this Hideyoshi's army is way too strong. I don't even want to know what fighting Hideyoshi's going to be like. I might not be able to win that fight. It's okay. It's okay, Fortress. Just look from across the way. Hey, we got the paralysis. That's nice. And he's increasing his defense. He uses Brotherhood. Wake me up, please. Crit, he killed my freaking... Oh. I should have compassioned. I knew I wasn't at death range, but then of course there's crit range. You gotta remember crit range. Alright. Finish her off. She's Okay, good. Because she got the paralysis, that means she's 100% accurate to hit it. That is really good. Alright, how much can you do? 14? At least you're doing damage, Fortress. I really appreciate that. Like, honestly, we don't expect any damage from you, so the fact that you can do damage, great. And honestly, Fortress is kind of the only reason we're going to win this fight. Because even though his attack went up, if I lost Zoroark and Luxray, Fortress could probably 1v1 this guy now. He's running away. Or maybe he's just going after Luxray. Either way. 7%, a 51% chance of hitting this. Yeah, I didn't expect it to. Zoroark, he didn't run far enough, did he? No, he didn't. Alright, well, since he didn't run far enough, let's just keep trying to lower his accuracy. Nice. And then Fortress, don't forget you. Get in there. 15 damage. We'll take it. I love that you never miss, Fortress. I really appreciate that. Alright, let's see. Servine's gonna have to take... Oh, Luxray took that freaking Leaf Blade, but it hurt. It hurt. If he was fully evolved, we'd be a dead man. Let's see. I'm gonna give Fortress the chance to be the one that gets the kill. Of course. That was fine. The one who really is gonna do it is gonna be my Zoroark, and that's completely cool with me. So the B team succeeded, but we had... Oh, barely succeeded on that one. But we had a lot of deaths. More than one is very unnatural for us. Whew. That was a tough fight. That was a tough fight. Let's see. This guy, he died, so he's not going to get much percent. He also didn't kill anything. Yoshimoto didn't get much because he was just the tank. 
which is sad. Yeah, Zorark got a lot, and Frostlass, you should have got more. You fought, you actually fought hard. You got a crit. You did good work. I know when they die, they don't get as much Link, but still. Alright, it looks like we're going to try and take out Hideyoshi, but the way that that battle went shows me that I might not even be ready. His power level is at 2,226. There's no way he's not stronger than me. I'm at 2,225! It's almost an even match. This is probably the most fair battle we're ever going to have. He has a Jigglypuff and I have a freaking Scra Scraggy. Those are our weakest Pokemon. I guess Duskull, but no, Duskull's a tank. I can't even say it's a weak. That Gyarados scares me because I'm not bringing my Electric type for this fight. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. This is going to be such a hard battle to win. I'm not even joking anymore. This fight's going to be for real. <laughs> Alright, at least we're fighting on my territory. And I, I brought Scraggy, which has an advantage in this territory. Conkledur is also new to me. We haven't used Conkledur yet, so let's see what their attack is. Yeah, we'll take you on. That Infernape terrifies me. Its attack is so good. Especially on this map. I have Super Power. It's a move that pushes, and I have the ability of Thrust, which means it might push them back two spaces. It's a five-star, one-hit attack. It's amazing. Alright, our fear is going to take a year to get on here, but he'll get there. Star Raptor is amazing on this map because it can move four spaces and it can fly. And it has Brave Bird. It's literally an amazing Pokemon. And then we have Alakazam, who's recently been trained up. And we have our leader, our real leader, Kai, and her 70% Link, but she cannot beat a freaking Infernape. She could beat that Modinari guy, and she could probably beat um, the Duskull. But Ampharos is really tanky, and Gyarados has an advantage there. Gyarados scares me, if I'm being 100% honest. He's at 70%. Hideyoshi is at 70%. Tied with my my strongest freaking Pokemon. So, his move, even though it says it's one star, it's a lie. It's a five star attack. And I have to assume he's going to hit me with it. He's going to hit me with something no matter what. Scraggy, just assume that no matter where I put you, you're going to get hit by this fire spin. No matter where I put you. I'm honestly thinking, like, not even freaking joking, of not putting Scraggy up here, but putting Scraggy down here and sneaking around. Just because I just realized how, bit, how bad this is. Now, I do have Alakazam, and Alakazam has Rally. I'm going to hold them back. I'm going to assume he's not going to come back this far back. I also have a freaking Star Raptor, which can help. I also can use it to fight you. It would not be a good fight. Okay. 52% Link isn't the best, but it could hurt an Infernape, that's for sure. And then Darmanitan, I'm going to need you far, uh, faster than Rhyferior. Rhyferior is not going to come in handy for a while. Now let's see, that Infernape's move is the most important thing. What it decides to do could decide this battle. I was right, it is probably going to be the one that hits my, my Scraggy. And Scraggy might not even be able to take the hit. Ooh, Aqua Tail. He might even hit Alakazam. This could be the most devastating fire spin. Oh, even worse! He went back! He left Conkledur alone! Look at how much damage this is doing. Even Alakazam was like, Oh, Jesus! I wasn't prepared for this! If I can just kill this Infernape, even though it's super fast and hits like a truck, its defense stat sucks. And with a critical hit, we lost Kunoichi. I should have sent her on the bottom path. That's on me. I wanted her for Duskull just in case, but I got other people for Duskull. Alright, this is going to be a fight. Normally I wouldn't do this, but we're going to have to rally up early. Because we might not get another turn. This is the meaning of honor. <laughs> that little potion's going to have to come in handy. And... I fear you can't hit him. Star Raptor. You got Marksman, right? Okay, he's guaranteed to hit the Infernape. That's the good news. The bad news is, it's not guaranteed to kill anything. 142 damage. Get rid of this Infernape. It's defense stat sucks, and I got Vanguard. I don't even know what that means. Ooh, okay. That's fine. That was really good damage. How much accuracy do I have? 60. There's no way I'm hitting him. Alakazam is faster, but his link is lower. Let's see how much he has. 83, and he could kill him. I gotta believe. I gotta believe in my Alakazam. Go, buddy. Come on. No more Hideyoshi. Yes! Okay, it worked. We don't have to worry about Hideyoshi for the rest of this fight. That's amazing. 
Darmanitan is my next person I'm going to send in. I'm going to go ahead and send you here, and we're going to knock this guy off. He does go back. With Thrust, we push him back two spaces. That's crazy. Now, Superpower has a weakness. Even though it's super strong, I lose attack and defense each time. Now, that guy had higher length than me. He's the second in command, Hanbei. Hanbei's the third in command, which is why he has 66. He has higher length than me, and that's why he took the hit so well. But honestly, he still... He was probably in death range if I went for Chesto, but I left it. I left it as is. Alright, we're gonna Warrior Woman, because everyone I hit right now, I want to stun them or kill them. Yep. We're gonna kill the Servine, so that's one less thing to worry about. And I don't want that freaking Gyarados moving at all. I don't want it breathing if I have the choice. And Jigglypuff, I don't know if anyone's HP is low enough for you to even bother us. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think, uh, one second. It's a little disconnect. We're good. You hear that noise? That means good. We're fixing it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry that it kind of just pops on screen, but yeah, the wire can get a little stuck, so it's like, oh, pulled it out by accident. And when I'm getting excited, guys, this happens. Jigglypuff, I was right, was not even willing to heal their own team because it was like, why, why bother? So even though these guys have higher length than us and are amazing freaking Pokemon, we're actually going to be just fine. I'm going to go ahead, I don't want a Chesto, because I only get one turn of Chesto. I probably don't want to use Brave Bird this turn. I want to get. I'm gonna chill for one turn. We're gonna start taking flags. Alakazam, you're gonna take this flag. You are gonna take this flag. Holy shit! That's a dead Jigglypuff. Superpower. Every turn we're gonna keep losing our attack and defense, but it's okay because when I Chesto, we're gonna have zero defense and a million attack. Yeah, I know I got a way about me. I'm awesome. All right, Infernape, or sorry, not, uh, Darmanitan, let's see how much you can do. 86. All right, well, we're going to just have to trust you on this one. That's how powerful a Duskull is, guys. Not even evolved, and it can take a freaking Fire Blast from a Darmanitan. That has higher link than him. And one Rock Wrecker to rule them all. I was saving this for Gyarados, but screw it. I, I got a lot of people that can kill Gyarados. I don't actually. Alakazam's going to have to work with Star Raptor, which is why I saved Star Raptor's attack. Because they still have one more turn of, um... Oh, wow, Thunder. Let's see it. 65! Oh, that Ampharos hits like a truck. And this is going to hurt, too. How much? <laughs> oh, my God. Zarmanitan barely takes the hit. And the only reason they took the hit was because they have higher length than the opponent. That Gyarados is a boost. All right. How much can I do to an Ampharos? Not bad. How about if I Chesto up? Because I'm weakened by superpower right now. I will probably die to the next attack. The reason the Thunder did so much was because I weakened myself. But the next Thunder will kill me. Oh, critical hit! Oh, that was the clutchest critical hit in the world. We killed Ampharos with it. That's how strong it was. All right. Star Raptor, get in there with your... Fuck. That's a strong Gyarados. That is a strong Gyarados. All right. Um, Darmanitan, run for your goddamn life. You can live. You can survive in this war. Just run. Honestly, Shingen, that thing will kill you. If that thing just decides to kill you, it can. Stay away from Gyarados until it's time for Rock Wrecker. Hope it just goes after Star Raptor, who could probably take the hit. <laughs> That's... That's the power of a Gyarados, everybody! Holy shit! I literally have to depend on Rock Wrecker to kill it, because Rock Wrecker could, could possibly do it. It can kill it, yep. It's just super inaccurate. Please kill it, 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 please kill it! Die, no! You know what? If I just keep pushing him off the flag with Alakazam Psychic from this distance then he'll just keep taking the flag rather than attacking my team. If that thing ever decided to attack my team, it would win the fight. That one Gyarados can sweep my whole team, except maybe Conkledur, but Conkledur has weakened his defense by a lot, so it's possible he would just kill Conkledur as well. And then if any of these Rock Wreckers land, then we win the whole battle. There we go! Gyarados is dealt with. Rhyferior shows that it does have an advantage when used correctly. It's just really weak. It would have died in one hit to that Aqua Tail. Alakazam captured the final flag. Hideyoshi has been wiped. 
He is a strong ass opponent. He had one more strength than me. His full power was stronger than my full power by one. Alright, 66, 61. Wow, we aren't not even getting that much length from this fight. Okay, Alakazam got a lot, never mind. Maybe because we're at such high link, it's really hard to get high link now. And now Rhyferior has a buffed up attack. We didn't get Hanbei, but we did get Kanbei and everyone else, which I'm probably going to need them for Nobunaga and the and the rest. So we got ourselves a 60... Oh, he has less link. Whatever. 68% link. We got a 54. Uh, we got a 41. We got a 62. And we got a Gyarados at 61%. That Gyarados was probably the best catch of the day. All right, you guys can go to Aurora for now. I'll decide what to do with you later. Oh, we need to celebrate our victory, everybody. We really do. And hope that the other armies don't mess with us. Let's save the game. We took out Hideyoshi in this episode. Two of the great warlords have fallen. Genchio last episode, Hideyoshi this episode. Hideyoshi would have beat Genchio, honestly. They're just looking at this, he would have beat him. Alright, we're going to end off the episode seeing what the other armies decide to do now that I've conquered the entire bottom half of the place. They still are messing with each other. I appreciate the hell out of that. I don't want them to become my problem just yet. Masamune took victory. Can Nobunaga take back the victory? Yep, and Nobunaga takes victory. He has a Garchomp. Oh, he has a Garchomp. Hey, Farmer, how much you need? 25? I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I got a lot of money. I'll give you 25. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching, and bye bye